Are you awake? Are you staying in tune to the real issues our nation is facing? Or are you being hoodwinked and bamboozled by the distractive rhetoric our politicians are hurling in the media? I urge you today, people of God, to stay woke. Don't allow yourselves to become unfocused on the real issues at hand. In Galatians chapter 3, Paul reminded the Galatians who their trust should be in, God, not man, or a system. He asked them in verse 1, Who cast a spell on them and called them foolish for allowing themselves to be deceived when they clearly knew God and the works of Christ and the Holy Spirit? We have to stay woke, people of God. And we do this by staying focused on God, praying without ceasing, seeking his instructions concerning this election. You see, our lives and the lives of our children and grandchildren depend on it. The Lord asked Peter in Matthew chapter 26, verses 40 and 41, when he found the disciples sleeping, he said, could you not stay awoke one hour? First Thessalonians says, so let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. This is an urgent time in history in our country, and it is imperative that we don't miss God. Luke 21 and 36 says, but stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape these things that are going to take place. And to stand before the Son of Man. You see, we're going to have to give an account for our actions. No matter what they may be. Father, I thank you for your word on today. And I ask that you strengthen us. I pray for myself. I pray for all those who are listening to this broadcast on today. And I ask that you fill us with your wisdom and understanding. And that you would order our steps concerning this upcoming election and this pandemic that we are faced with. I ask, Lord, that you please help us not to be deceived. Father, open our eyes that we may see as you see. Let us hear as you hear. And let us speak only what you would have us to speak. In Yahshua's name. I pray you were encouraged. Until the next time. Shalom.